what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Claire. If this is your first time here, welcome. It's nice to have you. Today's video is going to be a requested video. It is going to be a video, um, a makeup tutorial of me using all of my favorite top tier fall products that I literally can't live without. Things that I use pretty much every single day. And I just wanted to pile all of my favorite makeup products at the moment into one video so you can see my top everything from primer to brows, eye stuff, every single little thing. And a lot of the stuff in this video is gonna be repetitive from things that you've seen on my channel before, but I just piled all of my favorites into one and we also do this really pretty fall look. And yeah, this is pretty much my everyday lip combo I've talked about before, favorite blush, favorite mascara, and the brow stuff is new. I really do like my brow stuff. Um, so yeah, make sure to keep watching if you're interested and hit that subscribe button. I post new videos all the time of various topics and I would love to see you back here. So see y'all, wait, <laughs> not goodbye. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rolling with the video. Another voiceover, yay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into this photo finish primer from Smashbox. This is honestly just overall one of the best uh, primers I've ever used. You can really tell that it blurs your skin. You can feel it. It makes your skin feel so smooth. But then I also am going to go into this Laura Mercier um, foundation primer in Radiance. It just gives you a glowy effect. Obviously, it just makes you look radiant like it says. And sometimes I'll just use these separately. But today I want to use them today because I want that overall long lasting dewy look. And then my favorite foundation at the moment is the F uh, Dior Forever Skin Glow. I also love Love the regular Dior matte foundation and I use the shade 2 Cool Rose and so I just like to blend this out with a beauty sponge and you the reason I like this foundation is because it's full coverage but it's not cakey it's not super thick and you can tell by the way it applies to the skin that it still gives you that skin like finish um, without being too thin and watery like some dewy foundations are and it's not too thick and cakey so that's why I really do like it and it just I don't know. I really love it. It's great. And then I'm also going to go into my favorite concealer that I've ever used. It's the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Bone. And I really like this one because it's a full coverage concealer, but it's not super cakey also. So I don't like my makeup to be cakey, but I like it to be full coverage, if that makes sense. And so this is super good for color correcting, covering any kind of pimples. Um... And so also I'm going to blend that out with a beauty sponge and this is a smaller one from the Jeffree Star and Morphe collab and you can just see it, this shade is not too light on me. It's just the right color. And then I'm also going to go into my favorite setting powder. This is the Veil setting powder from Hourglass. I like this because it has like a shimmery effect to it but not glittery if that makes sense. It leaves you just looking bright. And then I'm also going to go into this Morphe uh, M536 brush. I believe that's what it said. Um, um, a lot of the times I will use a beauty sponge, but I noticed with this Kylie concealer, I don't really have to like cake it on with powder and it still will stay all day. It's just a really good concealer. And so we're just going to really cake it on, not cake it on, but you know, put it a little bit thicker in all the areas that we did apply concealer so it won't crease. But then I'm also going to do a light coverage all over my face to really make this makeup last all day. And I'm just going into it like when I say a light amount, I mean a light amount. So, yeah, just going to kind of brush that off all over my face, and we're going to go ahead and set just to get ready. So now that we've set our face, we're going to go into this Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.75 from Benefit. This is a little bit newer for me, but I love it. And then we're also got, we also got this Brow Styler. Um, actually, today I think we're just going to use the Brow Styler. I got this from the Benefit Bar in Macy's. I'm so happy. It has like a powdery thing at the end but we're going into um just that smaller pencil to brush out our brows and then I'm going to use this brow styler um I like it because it has a you can use the thick side or you can use the thin side so I normally just do it the thin way and it's kind of like if you like I don't know you can just watch it right here I really like how satisfying this is to watch it's super easy and I feel like more quick to fill in your brows and then I've also been really into shaping my brows with concealer on the edges um just to make them like look cleaner and neater and a little bit you know more put together because I'm not the brow queen I can accept that I know that I know my strengths and my weaknesses and brows are definitely one of my weaknesses that's a fact um but I'm okay with that so yeah I'm just taking this little Morphe brow 
brush and blending all that out but now the brows are done and we're gonna go into my favorite bronzer or this is one of my favorite bronzers it's Kylie in tequila tan and at first I thought this was too light for me but I just gotta accept the fact that I need to you know start using lighter bronzers they just look better with my skin tone and this one's really perfect for that and so I'm just using the shaping contour brush and we're gonna contour our entire face and just gently glide around the nose too um, to kind of give it a little bit of shape but honestly y'all have heard me rave about this blush I love this blush I don't know why it's in the Maybelline master contour palette it's the middle shade if you try this blush please let me know and let me know if you like it I just love how pigmented it is how it's like a true bubblegum pink it has a light shimmery effect but it also kind of like blurs the skin and that's what I really like about it I feel like it would look pretty on so many skin tones and I've also been kind of into you know dusting it off the middle of my face but this right here you need it this is the hourglass ambient lighting palette and i'm going into that first shade it's like a pinky shade i believe it's a dim light i could be wrong but i kind of use that to highlight but also kind of illuminate the cheekbones and the apples of the cheeks it just gives you like this overall shimmery glow well, not shimmery it's like a glowy filter I, I really do think it makes anybody look like they have a filter i know jacqueline hill uses it and that's why her face kind of always looks like she has a filter and um yeah you can also just use it as a highlight but I kind of use it as a mix between highlight and setting powder so I also go back in the end with more highlight but we're gonna set again and now we're going into my favorite palette at the moment I can't stop using it this is the Jeffrey and Morphe star palette so I'm going into that peachy shade the second row second color and we're gonna kind of use that to buff that out in the crease I like it's just like a peachy neutral shade a good little transition color to kind of provide that nice shape and base um you don't have to to do this step out well actually you do kind of to get this look and then we're going into that second to last color that dark brown and that's going to be our crease and like more defining shade and this is going to really kind of smoke it out and that's what i've really been into lately is doing like a shimmery eye but with like smoked out corners so it kind of provides you like a bigger shape it makes your eyes look bigger in my opinion um and so we're going to make sure that's really nice and blended all throughout the crease. This particular brush was not my favorite. It kind of gave me a weird shape, if you can tell, but we get it together in the end. And then I'm going to go back into that chocolate brown shade and smoke out that bottom lash line um, to make sure it kind of looks all nice and snatched and put together and this is also a good trick to smoke out your bottom lash line um because when you have mascara it keeps it from like you know showing and i also love taking like a little sponge and shaping up the bottom edges of the eyeshadow like i'm doing now it just cleans it up and then we're going into the first one on the third row this shimmery gold color this is one of my favorite colors in any eyeshadow palette ever i love this color because it's almost like a thin shimmery white gold it looks so good it could look good by itself it's some it's just a really pretty color i love this color um you can also use it for like a highlight but i'm kind of blending out back that chocolate shade um, to make it all come together and so i'm going into this urban decay perversion 24 7 glide on eyeliner i've been using this thing for years i've gone through so many of these it's just the best long lasting eyeliner for your waterline um it like it doesn't come off when you blink or cry like i do all the time and then i'm going into the kat von d tattoo liner and just this black liner i love this stuff i've used this for years as well since high school uh, it's just really good. I love the tip. It's really precise and it's amazing. And now I'm going to curl my lashes before we put on some L'Oreal Voluminous Paris um, mascara primer. I've really kind of, I kind of slacked off for a while with using primers, but now I'm really back into it. And then we're going into the Caution Mascara from Hourglass. This is super good if you want like thick and full and voluminous um, lashes, but don't like a super thick wand this is like a really controlled wand and i feel like the more you layer with this mascara the more full your lashes will look if that makes sense so you can see right here it really does lift and like voluminize them and yeah and this is something i wish i would have bought years ago it is the whirl lip liner from mac cosmetics whirl you need it if you have any kind of remotely close skin tone to me it's like the 
most perfect light pink. I love this stuff. I've been missing it for years and I didn't know it. And then Kylie Cosmetics Coco K is my favorite liquid lipstick of all time. I wear this pretty much every single day. This is my favorite lip combo. If you see pictures of me on Instagram, this is probably what I'm wearing. And then we're going to set for our third time to make sure we got it together. And then the last step we're going to do is go into this cookie highlighter from Benefit. We cannot forget the very last bit of highlight. And I'm just using this little Morphe highlighting brush and you can see this is just super blinding but it's one of those that's not like glittery gl ugh, glittery it's like that perfect smooth highlight if that's what you're looking for and I'm also going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes to give it that pop and I love a good highlighted nose and also my eyebrow bones if that makes sense and we're done well guys that was it for today's makeup look i hope you enjoyed our final outcome i think it's really really pretty and these are honestly just my favorite top tier products right now during this fall season and a lot of these you have seen on my channel before but maybe today was like a different combo i do feel like i do a lot of the same you know products in every video but the products that i love and today i just wanted to pile all of my top favorites into one video so again if you did like it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to i would appreciate it and i will see y'all in my next video bye Mwah.